Good guys, you might have here. At the year of 2016, Godox released 8200. At the year of 2019, Godox released 8200 Pro. Now at this year, Godox released 8200 Pro Mark II. It's still 200 watts lights, but Godox listened to us as photographers and made the following improvements. To start with, 8200 Pro 2 has a much better TFT screen, which is brighter. You can even view it under harsh sun, and you can see that from miles away. And to make the off-camera flash experience even better, they have a group indicator. You see with this one, it's a blue, right, for group C. And for group A, you can have red, and for group B, you can have green. Another thing it's hard to notice but significant is the improved flash head. Number one, it's the much better overheat performance. Generally, I feel the flash starts to slow down after 20 to 30 continuous full power shot. Of course, it depends on the weather, if it's, you know, hot summer on a beach or cold winter. But for 8200 Pro Mark II, I feel I can have 50 to 60 continuous full power output without noticeable slowing down. If you turn on color temperature mode, you have more consistent color from the flash itself. The white balance of the lights will be controlled within the variation of 100 Kelvin. You also have the bicolor modeling LED lights. You see guys, I wouldn't use 8200 Pro to come back sun on a midday beach. With a tree, wood sort of environment, it's more than enough. The Mark II comes with two heads as well. The J head and the Fresnel head. The J head is designed to spread the lights in all angles, which is perfect for softbox. In this scenario, I use a J head combined with 85 centimeters softbox to deliver the face lights. So she has a beautiful skin tone. The lights on the dress looks even. And for nail head, is designed to deliver a more directional light. So I use a second 8200 Pro but this time with Fresnel head combined with the round head adapter so I can attach all my round head accessories on it to mimic a sunlight to bring out all the texture and uh, details in the background. You can charge the battery with a USB charger. If you want the optional external power source, PB960 is there for you. The PB960 battery also helps with your recycling time while you're shooting too. So the Mac 2, you can go all the way down to 1 out of 512. If you need minimal fuel in lights in a weak light situation on very subtle lights, the 8200 Pro Mark II has that for you. The flash supports menu, TTL, front curtain, rear curtain, and high speed sync. With high speed sync, remember to turn off the color temperature mode, otherwise, it wouldn't work. High speed sync could be useful in lots of scenarios. In this case, I just want to shoot at open aperture at f1.4 because I don't have the ND filter with me. So I just use high speed sync with the shutter speed at 1 out of 3200.
You see the lighting conditions keep on changing because the sun is all of a sudden blocked by the cloud and come out again. In this scenario, I usually just do TTL. Let the flash decide how much fuel it goes in back to the model as a fuel light. Also, I use high-speed sync in this case, just ensure in between movements, we don't have a blurry image. Notice that with certain camera brands such as Sony, the rear curtain needs to be set on the camera body. Data will have lots of ambient light and sunlight kissing. It's not the most ideal time for the rear curtain. The most ideal situation for slow shutter rear curtain would be in the night with less ambient light. But uh, let's give it a go anyway. Because here you see uh, it's a beautiful flat light because the ground is black so she has the sort of raccoon eyes deep shadow on her high socket so i just use some fuel flash to make her skin glow ad200 pro itself it's an ecosystem rather than a simple light the reason behind it is, with AD200 Pro, you can use a variety amount of lights and accessories. For example, you can use H200R, which is round head, and which you can use all your round head accessories on it. And then there's R200, which is ring flash, and you can add beauty dish and uh, umbrella on it. And also, there's S200, which glows 360 degrees evenly and great for narrow spaces. I hope you guys enjoyed this 8200 Mark II introduction video. This is Umad Aristotle. I will see you the next time.